Hi folks, Anders here and welcome to another video. <coughs> Ooh, it's moved me further away. It's been a while since <coughs> my last video. Um, busy, starting a new business, uh, doing loads of stuff, but yeah. So, um, I have a mystery box. Um, and I thought I'd do a video about it because this is quite interesting. So there's a place over uh, near me in Cannock. Um, called New Life. And if you've never heard of New Life, it's a charity. Uh, they take all unsold stock from places like Amazon, um, big chain stores for clothes, New Life, New, no, not New Life, uh, New Look, <coughs> um, River Islands, all sorts of places, Primark and things like that. Um, <coughs> yeah, and they've got, they've got three different stores over Canuck. They've got New Life, the clothes one, and uh, then they've got one called New Life at Home, which is um, homewares and things like that, bars and things like that. They've got Christmas trees and stuff like that. And it is very, very good value. I've got some really good deals from there in the past. Um, and then they've got one which is New Life Marketplace, where they do ridiculous offers and everything's like one ninety nine or nine items for a tenner, two forty nine or seven items for a tenner, so on. Um, so yeah, so I went in there today um, and really really happy because uh, i've been after some craft supplies um and in the one uh new life at home they've got this which is a rotary cutter um uh, set for 2.99 and i thought gosh that's cheap because i needed a rotary cutting knife so yeah but not only did i get the rotary cutter knife for 2.99 there's also i don't even know tape marker sets oh there's a little all other things i didn't even want them but i just came in the packet with it 2.99 for a rotary cutter though yeah um, and then from the new life at home, which was awesome, was these, which is 36 acrylic paints. Yeah, for 6.99. I normally pay at least a pound a pot for acrylic paints like this, and yet 6.99, which is just absolutely insane. And there's so many colours. I mean, yeah. Um, I'll show you on the back and you can see the colours. Um, I literally, an hour before going to New Life, I went to The Range, which is like a craft shoppy placey, um, and paid a pound just for one tub because I wanted some pink. And you get all of those colours. Look at them, all of those colours. 6 99 which is just insane. So yeah, so that was really, really cool. Um, then I went to the New Life Marketplace. Um, because they're always good for bits and pieces of crafty supplies and things like that. I've sometimes picked up moulds from there for um, um, my pewter casting and things like that. Um, and I picked up seven items for a pound. I've got that there, which is just some little... Um, it. Uh, what's in the noise? Hello, baby. I've got a dog sitting watching me. Uh, yeah, just basic silicon moulds, but they're little um, Christmas decoration kind of ones. Like that, and I can cast pewter into them, which is quite cool. Yeah, just little snowflakes and things. So that was quite cool. That was in there, yeah, seven for ten pound two forty nine. I got some acrylic pens. I got some coloring pencils. I got a big, massive sheet, um, Indian style print one. Uh, yeah. I got a load of these, which I actually have had before. Little gift bags. There's a pack of them. Awesome because obviously I can use them for little gift bags and thingies. Some more acrylic paints and a little set of like jewelry finding pliers and things like that. And if it was like memory wire and all sorts in there. So yeah, um, so yeah, all of that cost me like seven forty nine for all of that. And yeah, but obviously you're not here to see what I bought from there. You're here to see what's in the mystery box. So yeah, so while I was in there. Did an announcement over the tannoy. Uh, and they were like, today we have mystery boxes in. £7.50, up to 100 items from various retailers. Yep. And they were right by the till and I just thought, do you know what? That's a very big box. So, I'm going to buy one for £7.50. There's got to be something good in here, I would have thought. I don't know. I have no clue. So I'm going to open them, completely uns unscripted, I'm going to open this magical box, magical mystery box with you guys, I'm going to see what's in there. There might be some stuff to give for Christmas gifts, there might be some crafty stuff, there might be hidden treasure, I really don't know. 
But what I don't want, I will donate to charity or whatever. I won't put anything in landfill. Um, so yeah, I'm sure it'll go to use for doing it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, the giant box on the floor there. Sorry, Bailey. He's looking at me all confused. And then we'll go through it one by one and see what we can actually find. So, my God's very some weird stuff in here. Okay, let's go through it. We have, I have no idea, Pro Kaken Chain Slicer. There goes the dog, he's running away. And um, what now? Pro Kaken Chain Slicer. I, 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 I don't know. Okay, so that's one. So let's, let's keep a tally of how many items. That's one. We have a tablet protective case for some sort of tablet. I'm sure if I put that onto a free cycle site, somebody will use it. So yeah. So, you know, tablet protective cases looks like an iPad of some description. But yeah, so we've got two items. We've got an iPad. We have BY Versa GY Op Bridget. Don't know. Let's open it. I think it's watch straps actually. Yes, it is. It's lots and lots of watch straps in a packet. Uh, sure. I can't really think of a use for watch straps. Okay. Oh, we have some. Please keep your distance. Wait here stickers. Obviously, we live in COVID times, so it's all very kind of strange and unusual. Um, so yeah, I've got some keep your distance floor stickers. Um, I mean, I generally don't like people, so I can just put them everywhere. And then the people will ignore them when they don't stand two meters away from me. Okay, right, so that's <coughs> four items. We have a spiral bound 2122 diary. Now, it is the 2nd of December today, so this is probably not much use, but it's a notebook, so it is probably useful. It will be useful. Okay, next we have, this is just weird stuff. Um, four piece reusable wet wipe pouch, clean wipes, carry case, eco friendly wet wipes bag, cosmetic pouch. Don't know. Don't know. Let's have a look. Okay, right, so yeah, um, these actually would be quite useful. So these are, oh, I got little unicorns on them, how cute. Um, so these are, you put your wet wipes in them, but you buy from the stores and stuff like that. You can just buy the packs and they keep them sealed and stuff like that. So do you know what? They actually would be quite useful. Yeah, cool. Right, so that's, I don't even know how many items. We have, I love reading my labels, Mini Star Cat Net pocket for oh okay it is a net pocket for a back seat of a car right so I imagine it just goes that that useful I can use that in my car um put carrier bags in it or something or other it's a weird like net pocket -y thing okay yeah that's good yeah I can use a little meshy thing stick that in the boot useful happy days we have a, is this an iPad one, a something, protective case, iPad Pro Yoga Starry Night, okay, let's see, let's see, yeah, it is just literally a giant tablet case, again, I can donate that, somebody will find it useful, oh, we've got a CD, we've got Haggard Cat Common Sense Holiday, I have no idea. If you are Haggard Cat and you are listening to this, <coughs> um, I'm sure that you appreciate that your CD has now been chucked into a £7.50 mystery box. Sorry. Um, imagine, I don't even know. I'm going to listen to that one. Cool. Right, we have another iPad protection case thingy. I'm getting a feeling that there is going to be a lot of iPad cases in this. Uh, iPad 7th generation, yeah. So anyway, but I know there's a guy on one of the local free cycle groups. He always has iPads and things in. I will just donate these to him. I'm sure he will find a use for them. 
Right, we have, what's in this one? New Mang four piece reusable wet white pouches. Okay, so it's just the same as the other one, wet white pouches, right. Um, another iPad case, another iPad case. Bit useless, uh, but you're sure. We have a pro, what on earth is this? 28 millimeter something and the, the, the motocross some, what? Literally, this is the weirdest stuff. I don't even know. It's it's like a handlebar. Oh, okay. It's handlebars for a mountain bike. Right, well, handlebar gripping things. I have a mountain bike. These might be useful. Okay, cool. We have another one of those weird things. Don't know. If you know what these are, please tell me. We have, oh my God, does anybody remember these? Lubans. Jeez, these were a fad about 10 years ago. Uh, nobody cares about them anymore. They are horrible plastic things which just got everywhere. However, I'm sure somebody would like the loom bands, but I'm more excited by the fact that it is a nice, decent size storage case which I can use for crafting and whatnot. So that definitely is a useful thing. Right, next up, weird where something um a orthopedic pillow orthopedic pillow or orthopedic pillow blocks imagine for camping or something i don't know it's just a little squishy pillow okay but you know what these quite useful because i've just bought a camper van and i've got two of them so little pillows to stick in the camper van just little headrests or something I very squishy and memory foamy. Cool, right, um, let's keep going. We're not even halfway through yet. We have some, geez, uh, 3D pen filaments for 3D printers. Uh, I don't own a 3D printer. Well, I do, I've got one of those weird penny things, um, which was terrible doodle pens or whatever. Uh, but I've got a friend with a 3D printer. And I actually might be getting a 3D printer. So, PLA stuff I know is the most common stuff to use for it. So actually, do you know what? Useful. Cool. Right. Uh, more handlebars. Okay. A mobile phone case for a iPhone 11. Nope. Um, oh, something very bright, vibrant. What on earth is this? After sounds like lead music and sound something light up something party. What the heck? Um, what on earth? Okay, so it's a face mask that lights up, I think, with no batteries in it. Um, yeah, and it's got Velcro on it. Um, I, uh, what? And there's two of them. Okay, so, sure, I mean, hello, I don't know, yeah, okay, if it didn't have a stupid thingy on it, that'd be quite useful, ah, it's stuck to my hair, it's Velcro to my hair, oh god damn it, ow, ow, uh, yeah, Okay, um, yes, yeah, so we've got two of those. Jeez. We have some um, five piece mask storage or ear pain, relieved new. Five piece mask store or ear pain, relieved new. I, I literally, that's what it says. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, they're little storage things. For putting masks in, I, I imagine. Um, yeah, mask antibacterial mask cubes. Again, quite useful to be fair because uh, we're now back to wearing masks in stores again, um, as of a couple of days ago. So I, yeah, I will probably use them. Oh, geez, we've got another one of those terrifying things. Oh, um, sure. Um, we've got something really heavy. What the heck is this? Pro Kaken 
CNC bulletproof something something footrest. Um, um, imagine something to do with bikey painting. Like, um, yeah. Pro Kaken. Pro Kaken. Um, sure. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, quality hair extensions. Some dreads. Okay. I have a friend who will actually like these because she wears uh, synthetic dreads and stuff like that. So, yeah, so I've got some dreads. Cool. Okay, that's something cool. And um, we have, oh my God, another one, two, three packs of... Do not step on the dooby doo. What the heck? Ugh. We have a wireless audio transmitter, Bluetooth transmitter, mini fashion desing. Actually says desing. Desing. Mini fashion desing, low current USB five power, assured device work, standby in long time. Turn it on automatically after. Easy use support with all audio devices, aux output, sort of TV, computer, projector, and MIDI. Um, I don't know. It's a Bluetooth audio transmitter with a headphone jack on it. Uh, I don't know, but I guess that would be useful. Um, I suppose if it's, you've got, ah, I don't know what, I know what it is. If you've got something that's line out um, and you want it to turn into Bluetooth, I guess that's what that is for, possibly. But with some aux cables and stuff in there, which is useful. So, yeah, so that's not terrible. Next, an Adventure Time Happy Birthday pack. I don't like Adventure Time. Sorry. Uh, sure, comment below if you want this. I will send it to you for free. Uh, there is another one of those weird pro cake and handle bark grippy things. Um, another one of those weird. I don't know. Um, oh dear lord, another one of those stupid face mask things. No. Oh, there's a DVD. Michael. A film by Marius Schnitzer. Official selection for Cannes Film Festival. Powerful, disturbing filmmaking. Um, a protege of Michael Hankey, Marius uh, Schindler is a triumphant, uneasy cinema. When all of the level of a striper director tells a story of a dull office drone who keeps a kidnapped young boy in his house. It's like the subverse edge. No, thank you. That's terrifying. Um, latex balloons. I'm allergic to latex. We have two more items. We have furry eggs. Furry eggs. That's all I'm going to say. Why is that? Oh my god, no, they're not even furry eggs. They're just eggs. I look furry in the packet. I was wrong. Um, Merry Christmas to to the egg overlords. Uh, sure. I don't know. <clears throat> right. And finally, we have Dare Something Twenty Twenty Halloween Lights Something LED Mask. What the heckin is that? I, I don't even know no batteries in it. No.
yes. I don't know. I imagine it might look better if it's lit up. I guess I could use it for a photo shoot prop or something. But I really don't know. So. Who knows? So anyway, right. Um, let's do a... So, I mean, obviously all of these things are completely random in the boxes. But I imagine, to be fair, uh, that most of the stuff that is in here... Um, will be very, very similar to the other mystery boxes. Um, so let's have a count. Let's do a, a count on how much stuff there actually is in here. Because it said it said up to a hundred items. I don't know. I mean, guess if you count individual stuff. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, uh, 38, 39, um, yeah, 39 items for £7.50, most of it which is um, plastic tat there is a couple of things that i can definitely use obviously that is useful um some of the other stuff like the car tidy thing and that is useful uh the rest of it in all honesty is plastic tat so would i recommend i mean i guess if you were a reseller um you bought a few of these and you were doing markets and stuff like that you could maybe maybe you know, I mean, to be fair, like, these are really, really rugged, like, um, iPad cases. So, yeah. I guess if you're a reseller, you could probably make your money back on them. Uh, is it worth it to me? No, this is just garbage. Um, literally, I've just spent £7.50 on a bunch of plastic garbage. Um, which, yeah. It will not go into landfill. I will donate all of the stuff that I don't want. Um, some bits and bobs I will obviously use, um, but yeah, would I, would I buy one again? Absolutely not. They used to do jewellery boxes, which were absolutely brilliant, and it was all mishmash of broken jewellery. That I can use. I recycle jewellery and turn it into wonderful products and things like that. Would I buy one of these again from New Life? No. So yeah, I think I've waffled enough. Uh, I've been talking for 25 minutes. Um, so yeah, but if you do go over to New Life, you know, and you do pick up one of these, <clears throat> post in the comments below or make your own video, do an unboxing of what's actually in them. I, you know, it, I could be wrong. They could be very, very different things in each. But all of the stuff that's in here, I didn't see out on display in the shop because it's all in big totes. You just rummage through and find garbage. Um, I didn't see much of this in the actual thing. So what I'm reckoning is they're just getting these boxes in. And yeah. So on that note, I will say, please keep your distance from these boxes. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below. Like, subscribe, all of that kind of stuff. I will be posting more videos soon. I am just in the process of buying a camper van, which I will be uh, restoring. Uh, I've also started my own business doing craft fairs and making my own jewellery and things like that. Um, so yeah, and I'll be posting videos, how-to videos on that as well. So yeah, um, please stay watching the channel. Uh, I will definitely do more videos. I'm sorry I haven't been updating for a long time. Life has got in the way. So yeah, thank you for watching folks. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Toodaloo.